Hello everybody, today we are going to see how to automate a call center work, especially the text based chat. So what we are going to do, we are going to see in Python how to develop a web server, how to host a web server and from there how to deal with the rest calls, uh, post and get methods. Then we will see how to make a rest call using jQuery Ajax then uh, getting the response and displaying and how to develop a pop-up chat window and keep it on top of the page then we will see nltk library in python uh, how to deal with natural language processing so how to re uh, re recognize the user's queries and match with our knowledge base and responding to them all these flow we will see the, it will be few lines of code only maybe 100 lines or 200 lines of code we will see how this end-to-end -end flow work so we can directly use and integrate into our websites so let's go and see this uh, init.py is the one we are going to utilize uh, so this is anyway copy paste uh, kind of thing we can take it um, very quickly i will show how this program goes so we will execute this python It will throw error. So what ha happening here is uh, this particular machine needed a permission, pseudo permission to host a web server. So simply we have to go with uh, sudo it's starting the web server so what it happen is it will go there and check whether there is a parameter available if the parameter available it will take the first parameter as um, port number so we can host the web server in a custom port otherwise we define predefine the port number here so that's actually run command uh, that is port 80 so normally a web server running in port 80 then you don't have to give the port simply give the host name or URL it will work once goes here that will move to the uh, this function and this function go to that uh, server class so in this class uh, we have uh, various functions this is simply handling the rest call so normal URL invoke will go to the get method because in the rest that's how it work so there we use uh, certain function especially one of the function is uh, get path so get path is on top of uf object go and see the uf object it is imported here with the alias utility function so the utility function have get path here what i am doing simply i am having a method just to define a set of a url predefined url so if this predefined url not there it will further check whether such a path is available or not and um, if the path is available it will load uh, the file and uh, deliver through web, web url uh, then uh, so those are the methods we are playing here so first we check whether this uh, path list it is having otherwise uh, i am throwing a message saying it is a private folder so you don't have access to access the folder otherwise it will try to show the folder after that we are going to uh, post method in the post method only i'm going to deal with uh, those uh, uh, chat uh, communication so when we type the question the question will uh, following uh, question will be uh, going through a post method to a certain url again the same path and uh, the file i'm using here to validate it after that i am having a function called uri function that is again in utility function so uri function in the uri in the url uri portion first block i am checking and uh, taking as a class so it will check whether a class is available in the same name then second portion uri section 2 i am looking for a method inside the same class so i am creating the class using that um, portion then i am going for um, a method and so just invoking the method in that certain uri pattern after that um, if we take here so now it's executed there is a web server running so i will first show the web server and come refresh it so it will load the uh, particular chat window 
now I am going, so there is an icon available, I click this one, so chat window open. Now we will go and see what will be called on this portion. So if I type the question, so this call will go behind the scene. like this one ask so actually the uh, URI is bot class and the ask so simply we will go and see bot class and ask what happening and again it's sending a payload here so it is a JSON payload then response will be coming from there it's giving the response so I'm just going and checking what is this um, bot class and ask portion so this is the one invoked to deal with the uh, chatbot here what we do um, we import another NLTK it's a Python uh, package we use it and after loading NLTK package we are going through um, uh, building the bot uh, object so bot data bot object taken and they are reflection and pairs we are taking from uh, another another class so that class is bot data class so I am just going to the bot data class um, and from there I am just loading pairs and reflection so we'll see what is pairs and reflection here so in this class what we do is reflection is something like uh, uh, first person and second person uh, sentence in English so if I am saying I am then bot should respond to me like you are something like that so then only it will look like a two people's conversation so that's we are defining in reflection no, normally most of the reflections are predefined and available but we can go for the custom one like this then pairs is the place we are telling the question and the answer so we'll see some examples here how we tell so it's anyway json formatted object um, and see the question i'm telling so this r mean uh, raw text so escape characters and all are ignored and take, taken as a real sentence here what I am doing is what is then whatever it is here is a wildcard then name so simply they may ask what is your name or what is his name something like that then what I am trying to do here is the reflection so the first wildcard parameter so it is allowing the user to input any data and from the data we can go to the reflection and find the match and show so if what is your name if I ask uh, it should uh, tell my name is but if I ask what is his name it should again repeat his so reflection I can tell his is again his for the second person also so that's what we are trying to do so his name is tell us also what is your name mean my name is tell us and I am a chatbot that's what we are trying to do here so answers are given here here the two parameters if I am giving same way like the first is the first wildcard then second is the second wildcard what I am giving here that's how we make it dynamic and look like it is uh, extracting the data from uh, uh, customers uh, response or question now see this example here what I am doing is hi hey hello any of this or condition I am applying any of this I am asking then it will fall under this question and then response so you can see two responses are there so normally if you ask a question uh, from a human uh, they won't tell exactly same answer again and again it will look like machine so same meaning but different way of telling that will happen so we want to simulate that one so this actually what going to happen is every time different different people ask question randomly this answer will be given either one so that's the way we simulate like a human then if you go to this portion again I am doing the same thing randomizing the answers so here also randomizing the answer so this is how we build the um, uh, chatbots uh, so we train the chatbot and again uh, coming back to this uh, bot class you can see here I am just doing that um, uh, chatbot object and uh, uh, giving the question and trying to look for the answer 
if answer is there this will have a value here otherwise this will be null so what i am trying to do here is um if the value is not there i am going for the null response like uh, if a null response come we don't know the question so i am simply saying couldn't understand could you please more specific it simply mean it, does, it doesn't have the question matching question in the server so it is trying to go for um default answer to do that one additionally we can develop a function to lock this question so we know what are the, what are the failed question it doesn't mean the successful question had the successful answer so better to lock everything and um, go and review so we can train the bot later so train the bot mean is simply we look for the questions uh, manually and look for the answers uh, how the bot re respond and modify it later that is what train the bot we can automate or human assistant training so human assistant mean still i'm going to edit this one but uh, otherwise i can write a program to build this uh, json or rebuild this json again and again based on uh, some automated way to pick the answer so rebuilding the json doesn't mean the moment i edit this one it will work i have to restart the server so otherwise i need to find a way uh, every every chat time this uh, particular object being reinitiated then only it will pull the data from there in this console we are seeing all the calls additionally we have a log file so uh, this log also being populated so how to how to handle log simply uh, we initiate here everywhere like uh, so these logs we initiate it so log related parameters i am loading from a property file um, so from this property file here i am telling what is a log file path and what is the log level so log level is normally um, so when i give 10 it is debug level log that's what happening so let's again go and see the chat example so i asked the question what is your age and uh, it is responding i'm a computer program dude seriously you are asking me this right so just nice answer we are giving so my name is Man. Then I am working at ABC company. Actually, the exact match is not there, but anyway, we'll go and see. There is a question I made just to handle two parameters and give a response accordingly. So this is what that question. So this is a problem. It it won't. Uh, it doesn't need to be exact match, but still um it struggled to understand so we need to formulate the questions in a way um it support all kind of questions tokenizer and all abc company now it's telling hello sogunan so my um word so customer's word is picked then that i'm working at abc company so abc is a nice place to work so it's responding back with my question now see how we can reutilize with other websites so this we can sell it for other website to embed my chatbot so i will show the html portion here so this is how the html portion comes so first block fine uh, take this uh, uh, css portion so this is a custom css for this particular chatbot style all the others are common libraries bootstrap libraries then what i am going to do is i am making the uh, uh, html block which is making the shape of the chatbot window so just copy paste as it is after that go for this particular javascript so custom javascript uh, and uh, um, this is a jquery library also i am putting then custom javascript here i am looking for an event for key press so if key press happen with the if condition i am checking whether this is enter key so 13 is for enter key after that i am reading the value which is in the text area then i am making a ajax call to that particular one um, uh, python web server so this is what i said bot class is the class i am trying to access with the ask then i am sending the data in the json formatted object so chat text and the text from the text which i type 
then the response come in the response you can see about class I am building a JSON called response is a key so I am looking for the response key in the HTML here and that is a response I am just filling in the content and showing there so this is how it works additionally I have two more function to open the pop-up window and close the pop-up window so you can see here if I click this one it will close if I click this one, it will open the pop-up window so in a migration or in a delivery to other people we are going to give this javascript block then we have to embed a, a jquery library then we need to put this in the footer of the html then we need to go for the css portion just to style that one make sure the css classes are not clashing with existing um, web page so this is how we can deliver this one and make it this Python working currently I am running this in the console so if you want to run it as a permanent one uh, exit the console just put this same command in no hub so simply you will put no hub and unsigned at the back no hub and and sign in the back so then it will run it in the uh, no hub mode uh, then you have to search for this particular uh, script path ps minus ef and kill it or you have to note it down the process id so we can handle it so that's how this uh, um, automated chatbot we can do it thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel thank you